Scientists discovered why volcanoes were the key to life. We have several activities taking place on Earth. Each and every activity has an impact. That may include supporting or destroying life. Scientists have undergone a struggle to discover how volcanic activities are key to life. Origin of the volcanoes and theories that are supporting the volcanic activities. Join me today in this video as we discuss more about why volcanoes were key to life. Earlier volcanic eruptions that took place in their effects. Mount Tambora had begun to roll in 1819. A culture had grown and diversified in Indonesia. Cambodia and Vietnam were the trade links it had. Sir Stanford Raffles lived here. He spotted sounds of gunshots and thought it was a military threat that had caught them up. Days later, he discovered the cause of the herd blasts. And this is a thin layer of ash that was descending from the darkening skies. This made the atmosphere fluffy. A day later, Mount Tambora exploded. The kind of explosion that took place had never been witnessed before. As the mountain collapsed, it blew itself apart. Semi-molten volcanoes rained from above. They swept many lives in Tambora village. Many people were left homeless. The following day, the mountains are one and a half kilometers short, forming a caldera that was six kilometers wide. From this day, there was no sunlight on Earth. The volcano poured out and darkened the skies. Poisonous glasses filled the atmosphere and blocked sun rays from reaching the Earth's surface. This led to the decrease in temperatures by three degrees. Due to the absence of sunlight, crops failed. In most cases, plants depend on sunlight for photosynthesis purposes. As the crops failed, there was nothing left to eat. Great famine was experienced and it took many lives of people and even animals. More than 80,000 people died. The Tambora eruption was the most destructive disaster that was witnessed on Earth ever since Earth came into existence. It affected the normal life of people. Plants and animals were also not left behind. Local ecosystems and global climate were also greatly affected. This brought scientists to a conclusion that plate tectonics were important in keeping Earth alive. Theories supporting volcanic activities Geologists have undergone struggles wanting to understand how Earth worked. This includes how the mountains came into existence and what caused the natural calamities that were being experienced. They came to a conclusion that Earth was a single solid shell of rocks. However, there were theories about several processes that shaped the shell. Dutch cartographers also noticed the shape of the continents. They were perfectly shaped to fit together. And if this was the case, how were they separated finally? This gave rise to the thermal cycle theory, which says the Earth was heated up and expanded. The expansion led to the cracking down of the crust, thus separating the continents. A German meteorologist, Alfred Wegener, came up with the land masses. He went ahead to support his ideas with the found fossils and the seen jigsaw coastlines. The fossils were found by Robert in the Arctic, beneath the tundra and the frozen rocks. He discovered that the continents had drifted from the equator to the poles. Hence, this theory was named the Continental Drift Theory. Unfortunately, the theory had its own shortcoming accompanying it. This theory failed to explain what forces could move the continent and how they managed the whole process. Later in 1960, a seismometer was established. The purpose behind this establishment was pinpointing the epicenters of deadly earthquakes. It revealed how earthquakes took place and how tectonic plates changed and shifted. Earthquakes and concentrate on plate boundaries where they crush against one another. The boundaries include the divergent and convergent among the many boundaries existing. All these events gave rise to the plate tectonic theory. Plates are in continuous movement each and every day. And as they separate, a gap is left behind that is later filled by rising magma. A struggle is witnessed between the plates where one plate will finally emerge as the winner. What determines the winning is the density of the plates, where the heavier one is forced down the ocean. This is where it melts to release its minerals into water. This process forces out huge volumes of magma. How Volcanoes Came to Existence Around 4.5 billion years ago, Earth came into existence. This was after several processes. During this time, plate tectonics were not in existence. Rocks were super hot, the interior of the Earth's mantle was hot and molten. While the crust remained on the surface, the heat from the crust was struggling to find its way out. All the struggles failed until it was hotter until the solids started to melt at the base. 
The molten mantle moved downward collected and was heated more. Later, the magma was forced out of the mantle after it had risen up. The movement left behind volcanoes. The Hawaiian Islands were part of the volcano chains formed out of magma. During this time, plate tectonics had dominated as compared to plume volcanism. Scientists concluded that as the earth cooled, the mantle and crust temperature changed, making the crust break down into small rafts which are the modern plates. Convection currents were established to facilitate the sideways movement of the plate, which gave rise to plate tectonics, which are the reason for life existence on Earth today. This gave rise to the uniqueness of Earth from its ability to support life and its composition, a reason as to why we enjoy the goodness of Earth from the air available to crops and plants, and for other planes to support life, they have a lot to accomplish before they meet their expectations. From the presence of plate tectonics to the availability of carbon recycling, which in return will give rain and balance the air equilibrium in the atmosphere for them to create a habitable environment. How Volcanoes Were Key to Life There are several planets apart from Earth whose activities do not undergo recycling by plates. The lack of activity recycling in the planets makes it hard for them to support life. Earth is a unique planet mainly because of its ability to support life. Presence of tectonic plates on Earth is another thing resulting in its uniqueness. The movement of rocks into the Earth's surface has a great contribution. Life is made up of organic compounds but this does not mean it fully relies on organic compounds. It also depends on inorganic compounds. Like carbon dioxide for the sake of maintaining favorable temperatures on Earth. This is possible by the trapping of heat from the sun by carbon dioxide within the atmosphere. This carbon dioxide comes from volcanic eruptions. During the eruptions, the carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere to increase global temperatures. Later, the carbon dioxide dissolves in the clouds forming rain, which later falls in the lakes, oceans, and rivers all over the world. It later reacts with the rocks and breaks them down to form new ones. The carbon dioxide is also captured and locked in the sedimentary rocks of the Earth's crust. Plate tectonics act on the rocks to melt the carbon into magma, which comes out of the volcano again. This leads to the creation of an equilibrium of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere for a habitable environment that is not too hot or too cold, which facilitates life survival. Without this process, there could be no life on Earth. The recycling process of carbon dioxide creates a favorable temperature for life. Presence of plate tectonics on Earth has many advantages. This includes creation of life niches and diverse environments. Hydrothermal vents in the middle ocean boundaries are another bonus. All these activities gave a chance of survival to our first ancestor. The most experienced volcanic eruptions caused great losses but at the same time, they have advantages too. They were a breakthrough for the sustainment of life on Earth. The plate tectonics made the Earth a habitat by its ability to support life for both plants, animals, and human life. Not forgetting the carbon dioxide recycling which gives rain as a source of water. The recycling reduces the percentage of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere as it gives room for more oxygen which is greatly required by living things for their survival. Volcanoes are key to life due to the presence of plate tectonics that make Earth a habitable place. This includes carbon dioxide recycling that maintains favorable temperature conditions that can sustain life. Were it not for their presence, Earth could have just been like other planets that are not able to support life. Definitely, Earth could have broken down and never recovered, thanks to the plate tectonics that play a significant role for the sake of our life continuation on Earth. Thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe to this channel for more updates.